similarly you can find the expression for your displacement also so for case of displacement so we had just written if i write it down the magnitude v is equals to omega square root of a square minus x square so again further i can write it down so v is equals to i can say let's say it is dx upon dt again omega square root of a square minus x square again this is dx upon square root of a square minus x square again multiply by that omega dt just taking the integration on the both the sides so this is your sine inverse of x upon a this one omega t plus alpha so this is your sine of omega t plus alpha is equals to x upon a so x is equals to a sine of omega t plus alpha so this is the expression for your displacement which you will get over here so alpha we know that so that is the initial phase shift or that is also epoch that we called theta is obviously that is the angular displacement which is changing continuously with respect to time so this is how you can get the expression or either from this case also you can say that so sine of again you can say that sine of omega t which is is equals to y upon a yeah so y is equals to a sine omega t or you can write it down for the in case of in terms of x also x is equals to a sine omega t so that is the expression for your displacement again the maximum displacement is x is equals to a so that is your maximum displacement and x is equals to zero that is nothing but your minimum displacement so that that is your displacement in case of shm